So what I have here is a simple, like, simple experiment. I've got a, a coil and a tank circuit, and um, the resonance is at uh, 7.8, which is not really necessary for this experiment that I'm doing here. And I got a piece of wire here. <clears throat> and uh, inside uh, the coil, I've got, oops, uh, I got a neodymium pill magnet, okay? That's what's going to jump around. So what I do is I turn it on, and naturally, it, the doorbell, and it bounces around in there. <clears throat> so what I do now is I take this piece of wire, And as you can see, it jumps. <clears throat> and believe me, the table is not using it. It's the field in there. Now, what makes this so special is this is not a regular piece of wire, which doesn't do anything. And I'll show you there. See? Stranded speaker wire, right? Watch this. Nothing. But this piece of wire... It's busy jumping around because it's iron wire. <clears throat> now, the reason why I'm showing this is because uh, the TPU vibrates. Um, it's got some kind of gyro to it. <clears throat> and my thinking is that um, SM had a small coil in his TPUs with a magnet, a rubberized magnet, so that it didn't make noise, but it would jump around. A lot of previous TPU experiments were, you know, trying to put enough um, a smack through a wire to make it jump. Well, it takes a lot to do with copper, but with iron wire, it don't take much at all. Now, what I can do is I can take the pill magnet out. It's just a stop. Oh, it's just a spool stop right there. It's all a motion stop is all that is, and I'll do this. And the iron wire doesn't do anything. So what it does, I take it off the scope. I take it off the scope, which really doesn't show much on the scope anyway. And I will fold the ends in until they overlap, and I will put a magnet between them, like so, just like this. If I do this, nothing moves. If I do this. Of course it moves, because the magnet is attracted to the coil. But also the wire moves. And you don't hear any sound. But, but I get motion out of this. Which gives me a gentle vibration. And I can change that if I want to, which I will. Ten hertz, eleven hertz, twelve hertz. Turn it off. See it stop. Turn it on. Off. On. Off. On. So this is kind of like uh, a couple other ways to show. Um, what SM might have done in the TPU. Because with a vibrating coil like that, with the, this, this is also what the canal patent shows. Controlling that field. Manipulating that, manipulating that connection in between the two. See? I'm, not, I'm not shaking it. The coil's doing that, naturally. So that's what I have. I'm going to keep traveling on with uh, these simple experiments to try to, to deduce what uh, SM had hooked together to make this big guy jump. <laughs>